Is this the end? My only friend? The end? I don't know. Let's find out in my review. Hey everybody, I hope y'all doing well today. This week's Take 2 review is the Joe Diamato um, post-apocalyptic flick from 1983 Endgame. And, um, yeah, it's got a pretty decent cast for one of these Italian post-apocalyptic flicks. Al Cliver from Zombie. Laura Grimser, the wonderful Laura Grimser, though she's barely nude in this one, which, if you know Laura Grimser, that's really odd. Uh, it's, uh, I'm usually one that does find a woman attractive, more attractive, the less she's wearing, but in this, it's like, wow, I've never seen her with that many clothes. That's kind of hot. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's really sidetracking things, and probably losing the few female viewers I have. Anyways, uh, it's got George Eastman, who's been in everything, and quite a few other people, but those are what I would think of as the big three. Um, but it's uh, after, I don't think it's after like a total nuclear war, but it's after some nuclear exchanges have happened in the government in doesn't really tell you what country they're in either, but the government, let's just say the government, has a show a lot like the Running Man show, and I don't know if they stole this idea from Stephen King's book before it was made into a movie, or if it was an original idea, or I'd say it's, I don't know, they do, uh, have an interview on this Severn Blu-ray with uh, Joe D'Amato and he says he wrote the script but he never know he may have been um, at least inspired by King I don't know but it is a lot like The Running Man to an extent which isn't bad at least the first part of the movie is like that and Al Cliver is your uh, Arnold type person you know he's he went but but he wins the game but it's not it, it diverges from the running man after that because he wins the game and he's more like uh, david carradine in death race 2000 he's a star for winning this uh and it's the game is actually called in game but uh when he's out in the game He's uh, confronted by um, Laura Grimser, and she's a mutant, and she's telepathic, and I believe he is too, but um, she wants to enlist him to help her get these mutants out of their area and get them to freedom. And the rest of the m movie is more or less him trying to help her do that. And, you know, the struggles and trials and tribulations of that. Um, the first viewing, because even though I've heard of this movie quite a few times over the years, you can only try to buy so many movies. And if they're rare or you have to import them, my cheap ass eventually wins and says no I have to stop somewhere uh, so when I got this recently my first viewing was my first viewing and I thought well that's more or less just a a uh, running man rip off but I've watched it a couple more times and though it's not like super outstanding it is a fairly decent and um, watchable uh, post-apocalyptic flick. And of course, I am a fan of post-apocalyptic flicks and zombie flicks, any kind of apocalypse, really. Um, so yeah, and I'm a fan of Joe D'Amato. Uh, but uh, yeah, if it sounds interesting to you, you can get it from Saverin right now. Um, it's the print looks really good so yeah <laughs> anyways we'll have something new for y'all 
next week. Uh, I might do that Minari because I bought it because I like Steven Yeun from The Walking Dead. I don't know. I've got a few new movies that I can try to do. I just have to get around to watching them so I can not sound like a total idiot. Uh, anyways, we'll see y'all next time.